we're reacting to Socks Slept on Ice. Let's go. Today, I'm going to tell you guys the story on how I slept on ice. Ice? Mm -hmm. On a river? Like About two years ago, <laughs> my dad and I decided to go on a trip. We flew to a place called Sweden. Oh, damn. Okay, that makes way more sense. Because in my American mind, I just feel like everybody in Sweden habitually sleeps on ice. It's probably like the choice. They're like, oh, you want a mattress? Nah, dude. I want ice. The Swedish people are hardcore when it comes to cold. As far as I'm aware. I saw this guy who was like 70 jumping in a frozen ass river habitually and doing deep breathing exercise. And I was like, I don't fuck with the Swedes. If this is their grandpa, what are they doing? If this is my grandpa just drinks Budweiser and sits in a chair and walks with a cane. Their grandpa's like in a full ass frozen fjord. It was nuts. For all my non-geography mates, it's like, like right me. here all the way up top. Thank you, Alex. I did not know mm. We didn't actually fly straight there. We had to take a couple flights and our first stop was in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Yo, hey, big up UK. Leave. Leave. I was there for maybe a couple hours and it was the best thing ever. What? Uh, why was it? Why was it? Explain. As you might know, the drinking age in America is 21. Yeah. But the drinking age in the United Kingdom is 18. Fair. <laughs> That's very fair. Oh. Let's oh, see where this fair. is going. So you know your boy had to go in and order some stuff. The funny part is that... Would I you guys get drunk with your pops? I would, I don't know. I, I know some people, I just don't have that kind of relationship with my dad. I would not want to get drunk with my pops. I would just, like, it would feel so weird. Dare to drink it in public, you know? I thought the FBI was gonna- The FBI? Like, take me in, you know? It's a uh, standard business in the UK. Did they like eat biscuits <laughs> there or something? Well, that reminds me, since everyone was British, that means laugh was basically everywhere <laughs> they're all laughs it's just a bunch of gas bags literally every the same person. person was drinking tea like no joke every single person <laughs> And their teeth. <laughs> Don't even get me started there. <laughs> Damn, G. Take it easy on the British. What? I feel like chat is just going to start raging. Like, who the hell is this? I thought, okay, I've been, I'm not going to lie. I've watched, especially when we do reactions to the Simon videos. I always look for people's teeth. I don't feel like their teeth are that bad. I was a bit disappointed. I was hoping to see some absolutely, like, cracked mouths. Some cracked ass, terrible ass teeth. There was nothing. It wasn't even that bad. God. I'm drinking tea right now. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed. Also, why is man's out here? Hey, if anybody can't laugh at the British teeth, it's this G. Why are you laughing, my homie? You've got one tooth. You can't laugh at anybody else's situations going on right there. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, after the pit stop in United Kingdom, it was time we landed in Sweden. Hey. We when we went to Sweden, we had to go even more north north like we went to a plane to sweden and then we took another plane to go like to the very tippity top that's high up when we got there i don't know if you guys ever flown in like a plane but usually there's this like tube that attaches to your plane so you can walk into oh. the airport right yeah. yeah not in this one as what's that called why like okay i was gonna about to be like what a loser doesn't know the name to it what an idiot he called it a tube and then i was about to be like uh, idiot it's called a and I can't fucking remember either. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn it. How am I going to call him stupid? I'm just as dumb. A tube is as good of a word since I can't remember either. As soon as we Do you guys remember chat? What's that word called? Make us all feel smart, all right? Please. Right. They just kicked you out of the plane. Like, there was a staircases and you were out in the open. <laughs> I've had that. You stand on the airport like, well, not once. The thing was, is that, like, the airport was, like, at least a 15-minute walk. And it was in the freezing cold. But we weren't at our destination yet. We had to go even further. Why? We had to hop onto a bus and we rode on. But now where are you heading? All the way north, lad. All the way? We're Why? We're basically going to the North Pole at this point. Santa Claus. Well, on the bus, this is the part where I realized I'd never seen so much white in my life. Everything was snow. The trees were covered in it. The cars were going through it. It was everywhere. But not a single snowman. What? No, what? no frosty. So you're probably asking, where are we going in the first place? Well, it's a- Yeah, bro! I've been wondering that this whole damn time! Called the Ice Hotel. What? Frozen? Is he frozen? Oh my god. I didn't see you in the movie. This was no ordinary hotel. The twist was everything in the hotel was made out of ice. 
<laughs> wait, wait, what? Even the food? So what about your closets? Well, I, I believe that this has to be a lie, right? Not everything. That feels like not a pleasant twist. That's like a dark twist. That's like a bad twist, like a horror movie twist. I would... Why would you do that? Everything can be made out of ice. We got out of the bus. It was hard to see because there was like, you know, a, snore, a snowstorm happening. I couldn't wait to go inside, have some hot cocoa, snuggle up, watch TV. I reached for the hotel door. My hand. This is some water bender ass, North Pole ass, South Pole ass, like water bender tribe, weird architecture thing. Like, why would you do this? The Swedish are the real water benders? That would be a twist that no one saw coming, huh? Instantly freeze up. The door? Made out of ice? How is that even possible? I, I walked inside the floor. Ice. The ceiling. Ice. The chandelier. Ice. The check-in That's desk, cool. Ice. Okay, that's cool. The actual people. Ice. <laughs> even the cup drinks were made out of ice. The, the cup, cup drinks? People, what do you mean? The cups. You know what? what if you get a hot drink? The only thing that wasn't ice were the drinks. Yeah, can you order your hot drink? That's all I'd want. Yeah, he kind of sounds like Quackity, right, AD? As it was alcohol, because now I'm taking a shot of, because I regret this idea. <laughs> oh. But what if, what if one day, like, it just all turns hot, you know? Like, summer just comes out of nowhere for some reason. I don't know, man. Well, the summer there would be, like, negative 20 Celsius. What so. if it turns into 100 degrees, man? It's all over, out of business. What if I come pulling up with two blow head dryers <laughs> and start shooting? <laughs> Two hair ties. <laughs> Once we were there, the thing was, you know, we couldn't go to bed right away. It was the morning when we arrived because all the flights happened overnight. So it wasn't like we could go to bed now. So what are we gonna do? Turn Can you imagine torturing yourself on a flight? It's a transatlantic flight, by the way. That's long as hell. So you fly all the way there, connecting flights, then get all the way up north just so you can torture yourself in a hotel made of ice? For a whimsical fantasy that's probably not gonna live up to the reality and you're just gonna be cold. Like, it's one of those things that sounds cool and I get it if you're like, you're a YouTuber for clickbait or something, but dude, you're just gonna be cold. I hate being cold. It's just like a hotel of cold it's, and hard. You sleep in a hard ass mattress. They don't make soft ice. Like, at least make it snow. If it's a snow bed, then it's like, okay, it's snow. At least it's soft. Uh, uh, ice? That's like sleeping on a rock. That's crazy. It's a little more than ice than at the Heist Hotel. What is this oak? Sled dogs. Ooh, okay, that's sick. That's sick. Dogs that pull sleds. Isn't there races about that? Don't people race with those dogs? Mm -hmm. Did you oh, race? yo, I thought he said, isn't that racist? I was like, what? That huskies pull... Is it? Are you saying it's racist to say that huskies pull sleds? Like you're being racist to the dog breeds or like breedist? I was like... What? <laughs> I was like, yo, that's nuts. We've gone too far. If you are like, yo, that's breedist. You can't say that husky, huskies pull sleds. I was like, what oh, the hell? Turns out. Yo, dad's handsome, by the way. It's, it's very popular that people sled with these dogs, like, pulling you along. At first, <laughs> I was hesitant. I wouldn't want to be on a sled where, like, the dogs are forced to pull me. But after one look at the dogs, mm -hmm. they wanted to do Oh, they, they live for this. They go fast. They live for this. You could see it in their eyes. They saw the Cars movie, all right? They they knew speed. They didn't care. They didn't even care about the cold. They loved it. They you loved know? it. When I got on the sled, I was like, yo, this is pretty cool. But <gasps> what I realized is that no one around me taught how to control the dog. You know, <laughs> how do I turn left to right? Where is the <laughs> steering wheel? I was about to ask the lady, you know, for help when she said, Mush. Mush. Oh no. Mush. Oh no. I don't know what these dogs are on, but this ride got like a thousand horsepower. We were moving. Damn. Lamborghini dogs? Whoa. They're not even they're not even horses. I was completely shocked on how strong these dogs were. I could barely hold on for my life. I had no idea where we were going. Like the dogs were just chasing the other slide in front of us. Turns out there's a brake feature, you know, where you can Put a spike in the ground and slows all oh, the Oh no! Down, you know? I didn't know that! <laughs> we were zooming! My dogs wanted to race, alright? <laughs> Their eyes, you know, 
they wanted victory. We were passing people. <laughs> if you guys ever wonder, if y'all have ever met a husky, this is why they're so crazy. They're literally like, all they want to do is run and pull things that are like significantly bigger weights than them. That's why they go so bonkers when they have to live like a normal dog life. They're literally, this is all they're bred for, bro. Right, man. They're nuts. We were zooming. Okay. Damn! All I heard were people screaming left Looks right. like Mars attack. languages, like telling me to slow down or something, you know? <laughs> I didn't know how to slow down. What was the opposite of mush? On mush? Hush! When I said that, hum. they went even faster! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you even say it? You know, one know. word. In short, I ended up, my dogs ended up crashing into the sled in front of me, and then they started fighting oh, the other no. dogs oh, in the sled. Like, uh, I got kicked out of dog sled. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> and it's so true. Like, I have footage of all of this. They kicked me back into the ice hotel. Um, but it was still daytime, you know? We still had, like, six more hours before night. So, um... It was time to try something new. Snowmobile. Bro. Oh, have you guys done this? Have anybody gone snowmobiling? Because I thought this sounded so sick. I've never done it, but I've wanted to so badly. So this is like right up your alley. These are bikes, but in the snow. Really? It was the coolest thing ever. You know, we had to prepare for this. Like you couldn't just wear normal clothes. Oh, dude, it's when so you're bad. When you have a snowmobile and you're moving like 50 miles per hour in negative 30 Celsius, you're going to freeze to death. Ugh. We have to put on these big jumbo suits on. I thought it would be uncomfortable, but it was like we had a giant walking sleeping bag. Oh. One. And now hey, honestly, you might want to bring that back to the ice hotel that you're sleeping in, my guy. Because again, you are sleeping in an ice cube. You are sleeping in an ice cube. You're like Disney. You guys know that like Walt Disney is preserved on ice or some shit? Like you're just getting the Disney experience when you live in this hotel. You might be cryogenically frozen when you wake up. Or don't. And it's the year 4000. Everyone you know and love's dead. And you're some weird caveman from the past that everyone trots out as an oddity. I'm just saying, be careful sleeping in an ice hotel. There might be some consequences. Time to go you don't back. predict. I hopped in my snowmobile and luckily we had someone explaining how to use this thing. The difference between the snowmobile and the dog is the snowmobile, you know, you have control, but it's way faster. The snowmobile doesn't attack like over people. You would think, right? But I was in control. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, oh know, no, baby. We were going up downhill, but that's when the corners came in, you know, drifting like Tokyo Drift. Hey! <laughs> no wonder if you know. Da, 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 da. That song bangs. Honestly, guys, like Tokyo Drift wouldn't be that good of a movie, but the theme song takes it from like a solid 5 out of 10 to like a 9 out of 10. It's the best damn theme song I've ever heard. Tokyo Drift theme song slaps. The important thing here is that I looked cool mm -hmm. for a couple seconds. Yo, I drift that so hard, man. I, I didn't even know it was possible to like turn over a snowmobile. <laughs> I, I drifted that thing. <laughs> I needed that thing to the side. So after getting kicked out of snowmobile class, we have no more activities. You got kicked out as well? <laughs> got kicked out Wait, you got kicked out too? One day. We were supposed to spend like a week here and I already got banned from half the activities. You're belligerent ass. Some snowmobile riding, the same thing. Where's his dad at this whole time? If I got kicked out of one thing, my dad would be so mad at me. If I got kicked out of two things, I don't know if I'd be able to come back. I'm, you might have buried me in the snow out there with the snowmobile on my dignity. People on the jet ski. It was finally nighttime. I had enough of the cold. I just wanted to snuggle in warm bed. Literally, our bed was a block of ice. Yeah, dummy. <laughs> what? what? You're gonna sleep like a frozen turkey. What'd you it's expect? Okay, guys. You know, they gave us a pillow and a blanket. You know, we're... <laughs> <laughs> We're good then. Yeah, I took off my shirt and I started running down the hallways, you know, chanting Russian chants and stuff. You know? What? It was, uh, it was a good time. Okay, y'all, y'all, like, Socks, you sound like a hilarious dude to be friends with, but I kind of get, I kind of do get why uh, everyone hates Americans when we travel now. <laughs> I crawled on slowly. <laughs> But that didn't really help. You know, I don't know if you ever had like direct skin touch with ice. It sends shock waves all through your I body. I don't think you're supposed to do I that. There, freezing. <laughs> Thinking over my life decisions. It was, it was sort of nice because it was so quiet. Breathing in the cold air was. No, for reals, what'd you do with your pops? Where's your dad, socks? 
Your dad hasn't showed up once since he traveled with you. Did you like to ditch his ass? Like, what happened to your dad? Is he still out riding sled dogs? Like, where is he? That, that ended quickly. But ten. Oh, yeah. Heroes really never die. No, I'm, I'm joking. All right. They came in the next morning. They dug me out like Captain America. And then that's how I told the story on how I became a superhero. <laughs> they really did. They really did sleep on ice. How much does a hotel like that cost? Ooh. Six hundred dollars. Oh my oh, God. Damn. Oh, you pay him in ice cubes. That was super fun, guys. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Wesley. Subscribe down below for more reactions. I would never do this. I would, except if this was for a YouTube video, I'd do it, but that's the only damn reason. Would you guys want to stay in the Ice Hotel? That being said, guys, hope you have an immensely beautiful day. Take care of yourself. Sub for more reactions. And join us on twitch.tv slash talk to Wesley for more reactions with, live with me and chat. That being said, guys, take care of yourself. I'm out.